So I am almost hesitant to share this because I'm afraid that I will be taken out of context or misunderstood. So let me preface this video with this statement. I am not suggesting or advocating for anyone to go file for divorce or get divorced. That being said, the guidelines or the guidelines, and I'm wanting to bring you the information that may help you if this information applies to you or someone that you know. So on a USDA loan, we know that they look at two different types of income calculations. One is like every other loan, they want to calculate your income and make sure that you have enough money to qualify for the monthly payment and can afford the payment going forward. So the way that they look at this is the way they look at it on most every other loan. There's rules for calculating overtime bonus, commission income, along with your base income. So what's happening here is they're looking backwards to see what you've done in the past. They also have a calculation where they're looking to see if you make too much money for the program. So the USDA loan has income limits based on the size of the family. And this changes pretty much every year. But the, the constant here is that you must make below that threshold based on your family size to qualify for the USDA loan. If you make too much money for the program, then obviously you're not eligible for the USDA loan. I label it as, do I make enough money calculation and do I make too much money calculation? So today we're talking about the, do I make too much money calculation? And so what happens is the USDA is going to look at the income of every adult in the household and not just the individuals that are on the loan like they do for the, do I make enough income calculation? So when they're looking at the income of every adult in the home, whether they're on the loan or not, they're looking to see if combined, if they make too much money for the loan program. So a while back, we were working with the family where the, the wife was going to be on the loan and the husband was not going to be on the loan. And uh, they actually made too much money. However, digging through the guidelines and looking for uh, additional information that may help them uh, in their particular situation, we found something that did apply in this particular case. Husband and wife had filed for divorce. The guidelines state that if divorce proceedings have started, if you file for divorce, then you don't have to count the income for the non-purchasing spouse, the, not, the spouse who is not going to be on the loan. So in this particular case, due to, the, due to them filing for divorce, the husband's income that did not come into play, and they actually qualified for the loan and did not make too much money for the loan. 